Yeah, it's fine. We're going to spawn in a bunch of lightsabers. There we go. Lightsabers versus people. Oh. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of People Playground. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with a brand new update. Now we have Bob and his brother Billy right here, and they're ready to check out the new toy. So check this out. So we have a laser century turret. This thing looks kind of cool, huh? Ready? Three, two, one, boop. Oh, dude. Wait, Billy's using Bob as a human shield. Oh, never mind. Wait, did that not immediately kill him? Whoa. Dude, that thing is cool. So we had the other uh, turret that would just kind of, uh, I guess, used a, was it a normal gun? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we have a big laser one. Now, question is, can we do anything with this? Can we maybe supercharge it? I don't know if that's a thing or not, but we're going to try it out. But yeah, the new update, it doesn't have a whole lot of items. It's a lot of uh, new options with the limbs. And there are a couple things. There's new lights that we actually get to check out, which I was like, okay, it's just lights, but it actually, uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So, hold on, let's go ahead and hook up a generator to this real quick. Go boom. Does this... Does this do anything for you? It uh, probably doesn't, huh? And, woo! Okay, so it seemingly shoots faster or... It, oh, it's like double tapping now. Hold on. Okay, turn that off. Is it really supercharging it? Uh, it might be shooting faster. I don't know. We're getting a pile of dead bodies here. Keep going. Okay. You know, it would totally be cool to uh, mount this on a car or something, which I think we'll probably do. But first, let's go ahead and go over some of the other new items real quick. So as far as the new items besides the uh, the turret, you're going to find them under the machinery. So we have something called the lag box. This device can control how long it takes for activation triggers to traverse through it. Okay. So if we spawn one of these here, and then we have an activation trigger. So it's like a little delay box, I'm assuming. So let's grab something here. Uh, we'll grab a laser on one side. We'll put maybe this on the other side. So if I were to hook up an activation, actually, I don't know if we would do that with the generator or not. Maybe we should do this with a button. So say if we had a button here and then we go with the activation wire. So we'll go here to here, here to here. So this maybe puts a delay, I'm assuming. Hold on, let's go and activate this. Yeah, there it is. So you saw that the lag box actually makes a delay in between when the laser is turned on and off. It should be an instant signal, which I'm pretty sure for people that create more advanced things, this would be really useful for them. Yeah, it's just a little delay switch. I don't know. You might be able to... Oh, here you go. You can actually uh, set it. So you can increase it to two seconds or decrease it by half a second. Okay. That's a pretty cool little tool. Now, we also have these lights. Check these out. These are actually really, really cool. And I was thinking to myself, man, these are kind of useless, but yeah, they actually do something. So let's go ahead and go boop. Put a person here and we could just turn them on if we want to. You know, got some nice colors here. Actually, I think this one's the same, so delete that. But yeah, watch what happens when we stick a generator on it. We go generator here and let's hook these bad boys up like this and activate. Ooh, they get nice and bright. That question is, are they doing something? Oh, let's go ahead and get you kind of close here. Anything, just look into the light. It's fine. It's fine. Are these electrified? It's fine. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Ooh, jeez, it blew them in half. Okay, so those things are kind of deadly once they're lit up. You know, it's weird because it's not letting off like the little electricity or the little lightning marks. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely, uh, something you do not want to touch. Can you blow these up though? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what we can all do with these. Besides make some sort of, uh, I guess you can call it like a, a nice little light oven. Oh, did that do anything? Wait, where'd they go? Uh-oh. Oh, there they go. They're flying through the air. Uh, okay. I've also seen some people already utilize these in creations. We'll check that out here in a second. So another cool thing that they've added to the game, you actually have a limb damage system. So you can see like which limbs have like how much damage. So you can see like the little health marks here. So let's grab a little gun here. Okay, and spin that around. So if I were to shoot you in the leg, yeah, 
Okay, you can see it's actually... Is it losing health? Uh, oh, it is. It's slowly draining health because I'm assuming of the... Maybe the blood loss here. Dude, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, sorry. Oh, and so I'm assuming the head would probably be instant. Let's go. Boop. Wait, actually, I haven't shot him in the head. I think the head's like the overall health or something. Either that... Oh, no, they're all draining right now. So it's the blood loss. So if I were to go... Yep. They're all X'd out now. So yeah, that's something uh, for people who want to kind of experiment with the limb damage. Uh, that's an option you can turn on. That's actually kind of cool. And it shows you like which limbs are dead. Obviously, everything's dead right now. But that's a cool little feature. Now, one more thing that they've added. They actually have a uh, limb crushing sensitivity now. So if we were to turn this up to like a thousand, I'm pretty sure we could crush like this little ragdoll with pretty much anything. So we're gonna go ahead and stand you up here, which by the way, if you guys have any suggestions uh, for future episodes, future builds, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and whoop. Okay, I would say the sensitivity is probably pretty high. That was a big object. Let's try something a little smaller, maybe. Uh, what do we wanna use? How about a pumpkin? Can you get crushed by this? Whoop. Oh, I think that just broke your uh, your neck, potentially. Oh! Okay, yeah, the sensitivity on this is really high, obviously. So, a little bit of force, and it goes... Up. Uh, uh, like that. So, yeah, we can pretty much just mash people up now. All right, well, that's a cool little setting. All right, as far as updates, that's about all they have in this current update. I uh, didn't get as many items, but you got some really cool features uh, that I do look forward to experimenting with in the future. But... I want to make a car real quick, and we're going to check out some workshop creations here in a second. But I just want to attach one of these to a car because it looks amazing. I'll maybe put one right here. Probably should pause this. There we go. All right, so we're going to set you like this. Oh, man, that looks so awesome. All right, should we... Uh, maybe we'll supercharge this with the uh, generators. Even though I'm not 100% sure if it's actually doing anything. I want to say that it is. But a part of me says, no, it's probably not. But hold on, let's put a battery or a generator back there. And then we're going to connect all these to the car. Okay. Those are setting on there. They should be good to go. All right. Let's go and hook you up here and hook you up here. And, you know, let's just go and supercharge the car. So we'll go whoop. There we go. All right. So we have those ready to go. You know, we could add a little grill here and make it one of these little lights. That might be kind of cool. Uh, nope, don't hook it up like that. Let's go and grab this. Okay, let's grab the fixed cables. And we'll attach it like that. Okay, turn that on there. And go and hit that. Just in case, you know, something gets through, they'll uh, explode off the light in the front. Ah, that's cool looking. All right, let's get an army of people. I need to pause this first because it's going to start to go off immediately. Uh, let's just get an army of people. Let's get some androids in there too. Got to show them some love. There we go. Everybody's ready to go. All right. We're ready. Let's go ahead. Follow this. And it's activated. Three, two, one. Actually, let's go slow-mo. All right. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Is it detecting? Oh, it's starting to move. Wait. Ooh. Oh, it just fired through. Wow. That was a chain reaction. Dude, that was amazing looking. Okay, this, uh, these little turrets might be unstoppable. On, uh, Actually, this is a really good idea with the lights. It works as a great plow, and it looks awesome. On, uh, Okay, let's pause this. Let's try to get a couple more people in here. I feel like they, uh, instantly all died. Okay, let's go boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Okay, just spawn some people inside of each other. It's, it's fine. Oh, oh. You can see the laser turrets. They're trying to move to track people. And, oh, we just blew everybody up again. Okay, uh, on. Right. Let's go ahead and go full speed. Okay. All right. So those are still okay. Are they still active? On. Yep. They're still active. Yeah, I'm not really sure supercharging's doing anything to be honest with you. All right. So we have a new death roulette. These are absolutely some of my favorite creations. So we spawn it up like this. Oh, I think it might be a little high or actually a little low here. Let's go even further up. There we go. So, Death Roulette, which... Oh, my. Dude, this is way more creative looking than the last one. All right. So, we have our contestants here. We have contestants one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, I have to figure out how, to, how this game works. 
I'll probably read the description, but in the comments below, who do you think is going to survive the games here? I'm going to go with the number, you know, I'm putting my money on five here. So let's look at it real quick. That looks scary. So we have an anchor that's going back and forth. There is a life syringe on this little platform. Uh, what is going on here? Am I supposed to set this off? Okay. There's buttons up here. There's like a little game show host over here. That looks amazing. And, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, let me read about this. I'm seeing a lot of different things here. All right, so I read over the instructions and apparently it's something where you're just supposed to drop in uh, some items. And I guess they have the chance of hitting these buttons and uh, overall just trying to hurt the poor little people down here. That's why they have these little plates on their heads. So question is, which item are we going to drop here? I think we should go with, let's go with knives. All right, so let's go slow-mo real quick. That way I could just drop them in. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, who's gonna make it? Here we go. Full speed. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, what the? No. Uh. I don't think. Oh, oh. Wait. Those little piston things. Look how far they launch people. Wait, those are amazing. I almost want these. Hold on. Somebody's still alive. Wait. Pause. They were all dead. Five is back alive. Did he hit the? He hit the syringe. Wait, that's three. Wait, where's five? Five. Is that? No. Hold on. Wait. That's five. <laughs> he hit the syringe. Are you kidding me? Uh, one thing I do want to point out, these little piston things. I never thought to put something on top like that. Look how far it launches things. That's almost perfect. Uh-oh, there's two people alive now. All right, so if you guessed four or five, they're somehow still alive, even though they're in multiple pieces. But yeah, we're going to allow it. I need to restart that. That was amazing. All right, so here we are. Round two. Pick who you think is going to survive. Hmm, which item do we want to drop in now? Let's try the hammers. This seems safe. Let's just pause. We'll stack some hammers here. So they all exploded last time. Well, what are they going to do this time? All right, here we go. Slow mo's enabled. Hammers are dropping. Oh, they're gonna hit the button immediately. Okay, wait. No, they they jammed it. Okay, they jammed that button. They hit this one. No. All right. Oh, stuff's flying at uh, full speed. Oh. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's so cool because all the objects go down to the pistons. They get launched back in the air. So there's potential for more death. <laughs> all right. So oh. Oh no, okay, so two, three, and five are alive still. Uh, should we spawn in some more objects? Let's spawn in the crystals up here. Oh, this ought to be great. All right, we have sharp crystals flying around now. Nope, nothing. Oh, oh! Oh no, they all just went, oh, they're all dead. Nope, oh, I guess that means nobody survived that round. Uh, maybe we should try this again with, oh look, the, uh, oh. The anchor's loose. I don't know. That's a thing. All right. Well, maybe we should try that again. Maybe we should try it with uh, something smaller. Dude, these are so amazing. You know, I'm kind of curious. Why is there bombs up here? Let's hit this real quick. Let's go activate. Ooh. Okay. So that killed off uh, number three. Okay. Let's spawn in something else. You know, I do have a lightsaber. Uh, this is an object from the workshop which is just a battery and hey, does that even hurt anybody? I don't know if it does or doesn't. Uh, you know, it's fine. We're going to spawn in a bunch of lightsabers. There we go. Lightsabers versus people. Oh, oh, okay. They do. Wait, they're shocking people. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. Hold, hold number two. Okay. Number two was alive. He was like the last one and now they're they're all dead. They are all dead. Okay, this uh this version of roulette is pretty hard to survive. Maybe we should do less things? Uh, let's spawn that in. Hmm. Let's do something like a baseball bat. So we'll go ahead, pause. We're gonna spawn in. Let's go with six of these. Maybe it'll be a little less devastating. Alright, here we go. Alright, put your bets in. Who's gonna survive? 
We got six bats. Oh, one just got hit by a bat. Okay, he's fine. Okay. The bats don't seem... Uh oh Okay, the bats are effective. Wait a minute. Was that a gun that just went off? Wait. Is there a gun inside of this? How did that... How did those people die? So, that's the thing. Oh, okay. So, your contestants... Oh, three just got hit. Okay, we're down to two contestants. You have uh, four and six. Four is walking back. Uh oh, four's bleeding. Oh, no, no, no. Who's going to win here? Wait, where's six at? Uh, wait. Oh, is this six over here? I oh, know that's four. Six is somewhere in the room. Wait. Okay, six is down here. Okay. So we still have two alive contestants. Shall we drop in a tiebreaker? Drop in some swords. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Wait. Six is your winner. I think four just died. Uh, very potential that four just bled to death. Okay, well, that was a thing. Wait, where is six? I'm so confused. Six is around here somewhere. It's not this one. That is, uh, that's five. Where's six? Huh? I'm so confused right now. Okay, there's four is here. Uh, so apparently six one, but I have no clue where six is. There's something up here. That's just a head up here. What the heck? Okay. You know what? We're going to do one more round here. So let's go ahead and spawn it in one last time. I love these machines. These are amazing. Okay. One more round. Place your bets. What are we going to throw in here is the question. Hmm. Shall we though? Maybe we should do syringes. That could be fun. We'll do the, uh, maybe the knockout syringes. We could spawn in just a ton of these. Let's go all the way across. All right, place your bet. You know what? Let's do a couple bone eating syringes too. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh dear. Oh, they're flying. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay, I think one of the bone eating just went off. Did it, wait, did it go off? Not sure if the bone eating went off. Oh, it did it inject it one of the players. Okay, one through three are alive right now. Uh-oh. Looks like one's having a bad time. Okay, wait. Wait, the syringes are done. Okay, we have one through three are still alive. So, let's go ahead and go with the zombie syringes. There we go. Just load the top up and go. Okay, oh, oh. <gasps> okay, three's down. It's between one and two right now. Who's going to make it? Okay. We had to go big. We had to just throw like a car in here. Is that even possible? You know what? We're throwing a car in here. We're throwing two. All right, cars are in. Oh, uh oh. Are they gonna launch them? Oh, they do launch them. Okay. We have two V. Oh no! No, wait. Somebody just got hit with a life syringe. Are you serious? So now it's back to two and four. Two and four are alive right now. Okay, you know what we need to do? I need to spawn in a couple more cars. So, dit, dit, and dit, and dit. Here we go. All right, who's gonna make it? Oh, uh-oh. All right, there it is. Your comeback winner is four. It was one through three were alive and then four came out of nowhere and won the whole game. You know what we need to do? We need to destroy this whole game. It's just uh, too devastating for everybody. So here we go. Oh, there we go. Now there's no winners. I think everybody's dead. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of People Playground. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update episode. Not the most things, but there is some really cool features in this update. So definitely go check it out. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.